the Mick the Tent Novice Handicap Chase is next in. Not quite sure who Mick the Tent is. I think I'll probably say that every year, but nobody ever tells me. It's a two mile five furlong handicap, 0 to 120. And the top one is June Light Lend for Darren Thompson. David Copperfield, Martin Leedham, and Ryan Craig Beck with Pampalunia. Paul O'Neill, Homer Rort, Alex Cherry, Amazing Yourself, Graham Clutterbuck, Arnold Ear Bender, Thomas Rogers, and Glenasheen Parks for James Shea. So eight of them then. Looking called in, and away they go. Get their way towards the first of the fences in this Mick the Tent novices handicap chase. And David Copperfield in the purple jacket is the early leader, but doesn't look all that keen to be in front. Joined by Pampaluni in the red and green. And then Arnold Bender pulling for its head wide on the track is Homer Rort and on the inside of Ryan, but they're not going all that quickly. And Arnold Bender is now taking it up as they take the first of the 13 fences. They all get over to the other side safely, and Arnold Bender has settled down into the lead there with David Copperfield in second, then Pampalunia third, and then Homer Rort is fourth. Then comes Amazing Yourself closest to us with Glenasheen Parks on that one's outside as they take that ditch. Let's get all safely over. The early back marker is the top weight June Light to Lend. But it's Arnoia Bender then who's clearing the lead by a couple of lengths to David Copperfield on the inside. Almost four in a line there. David Copperfield, Homer Rort, Pampalunia and Glenasheen Parks. And then a little gap to Orion and then the back two together are aiming Amazing Yourself and June Light Lend. So racing up the straight then they've still got a little more than two miles to go. And Alnaya Bender is the leader. And they get to the third, which they're all safely over on the other side of. And Alnaya Bender, three lengths to the good from Glenishing Parks, who's moved through into second. On that one's inside Pampalunia. The orange sleeves of Homer Rort, widest on the track. David Copfield on the inside just dropped back a little bit into fifth. With Orion and June Light Lend behind him as they pass the winning post with a complete circuit of the track to go. And amazing yourself is the whipper in at the back. But Ahoya Bender is the leader by a good couple of lengths to Glenasheen Parks in second as they come to this fourth. Which they all get to the other side of again without any mishap. And Ahoya Bender seems to be quite happy settled down in the lead then now. Glenasheen Parks in second. They've sort of found all the all found the position they want to be in, it would seem, as they come to the fifth. Oh, there's a faller there, that's a faller. Homer Rort's gone, so Homer Rort just didn't take off there at all. Crashed straight through the fence and he's out, so bad luck there for Alex Cherry. But it's Arnaya Bender left in the lead from Glenasheen Parks and June Light Lend. Then comes Pampalunia and Orion as they take the next to the leader. There's made a mistake and a faller there, June Light Lend. So it's all starting to happen now then with June Light Lend crashing out of the race there and the leader making a mistake as well. So in the Arnaya Bender comes this ditch, takes it nicely in front from Glenasheen Parks. Machine Parks in second, Pampalunia is third, and David Copperfield is after that one, a Ryan on the outside, Amazing Yourself is just about the back marker, but Arnaya Bender has regained his equilibrium and is now two lengths clear again from Glenasheen Parks in second, then Pampalunia on that one's inside, a Ryan on the outside, David Copperfield just tucked in behind them, stalking, then the back marker is Amazing Yourself, who's probably two and a half lengths off the rest of them as they take the eighth, and again the leader made a mistake, he really dived at that one, Arnaya Bender, Glenasheen Parks has now come right up on his outside. Then Pampalunia, who's still going the shortest way around. David Copfield creeping into it. Then Orion, and also getting closer. Now Amazing Yourself. So they're all still in with a chance. The ones that are still standing as they race down to the ninth. And as they like, take that one, David Copfield just landed in the lead on the outside. So David Copfield then just gone on from Glenasheen Parks and Pampalunia, the long-time leader. Alnaya Bender just dropped back a little bit of a jump. That one much better than Glenasheen Parks. David Copfield is then the leader. Now then, with just six furlongs to race, and David Copfield in the lead, but Pampalunia is in hot pursuit. These two have gone about two lengths clear of Glenasheen Parks and Alnaya Bender. Then comes Orion, and then Amazing Yourself. The race is still wide open. They've got three more fences to take, and David Copfield and Pampalunia are disputing the lead as they race to the third last. Over that one, they go. Pampalunia made a mistake. David Copfield now two lengths clear. Pampalunia is in second. Glenasheen Parks still looks to be going well in third. Alnaya Bender is in fourth, and then Orion and Amazing Yourself, who've not made their moves yet. It's David Copfield coming down to the second last. The final ditch gets over it nicely. 
nicely but a better jump by Pampalonia. Now Ryan is coming through on the inside, but it's still David Copfield. Pampalonia looks to be going better though. Then comes Orion and now Nia Bender. Glenishing Parks after that one. And amazing yourself has got work to do. They're racing down there towards the final fence. And there's just a little more than two furlongs to go. David Copperfield by a length to Pampalunia in second. Then comes Orion back in third. It looks like he won between these front two. And as they come towards this final fence, then they're both under the pitch. David Copfield on the inside. Pampalunia on the outside. Over it they go. Pampalunia jumps it quicker and gets away from it quicker. It's Pampalunia who's going on. But David Copfield is fighting back then as they race inside the final furlong. Pampalunia and David Copperfield in a head bother. Then the Shing Parks is trying to run on. It's Pampalunia on the outside. David Copfield on the near side. This is going to be on the nod as they race up towards line. It's Pampalunia just, I think, Pampalunia takes it. David Copfield second. Then the Shing Parks was third. And amazing yourself was the last one to finish. And that was on the nod, wasn't it? All the way up to the line. And the horse on the outside, Pampalunia, prevails with a much better jump at the last and got away from it quicker as well. David Copperfield tried to wear him down on the inside, but to no avail. And Pampalunia takes it, the Mick the Tent. So Pampalunia for Paul O'Neill wins the Mick the Tent chase. David Copperfield for Martin Leland was second. Glenishing Parks for James Shea was third. Orion for Craig Beckwith was fourth. And Alnair Bender for Thomas Rogers was fifth.